Hello, my name is Michael Kim. And my name is Dawn Haight. Welcome to the Intermediate to Advanced Salsa. We've got some really exciting moves for you, some dips and spins and turns, and we're going to end it with something with a lot of flair. Very cool, very cool. I'm looking forward to it. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to take you into a really nice variation here. All the patterns on this uh, video are going to be set up as little short, short routines. So get ready to do some work. We're going to start off with a crossbody with a lady's inside roll. We're going to recatch the lady and do a tunnel pass. This is a one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Guy's turn. Five, six, seven. That turns the guy all the way around to face the lady. That's one option. Next, next option would be to go one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, drop three, five, six, seven. And actually, that one's the one we're going to be using in the routine. The first one is like the basic of how this came about. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Simple turnaround, you're done. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Getting back to our choreography for the routine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven. So you want to get the lady to turn again right on that three count, set her up for the next move. Here's an open break with a hand change. One, two, three, outside roll. Five, six, catch the hand over the top, flare the leg on seven, go around each other. One, two, three, roll the lady to shadow. Five, six, catch her seven. Once you have her in a catch shadow position, we work it down. One, two, three. Then from here, we're going to take the right hand and lead a head roll turn. Five, six, seven. Into a basic, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and show you that from another angle. We have, fix her hair here a little bit first. Here we have. My horns were coming up. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, drop. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Hand goes right up underneath the armpit, so all you're doing is putting one finger inside or two. And then looping five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Lots of cool stuff already getting you started, right? We're gonna come back with the footwork for the man and the lady. Stick around. Okay, we'll start with the man's part. I'll show you the first movement. That's our setup movement. Kind of gives you an idea whether or not the partner is gonna be able to follow you through that next one. You're gonna start off with your break with the left foot on the one, counts one, two, three. And when you dance the break, if you're going to lead the crossbody roll, you want to rotate your body on the one, two, three. Now here's a fancier way for you to do that, guys. Step on the heel of your left foot and roll the toe, which means to go one, two, three. That's a very common break for the guy, also for the lady, but in this pattern it's for the guy. So step forward on one, two, three. Then lead the inside roll on five, six, and catch the shoulder on seven, moving to the outside of the track. Now from here, I'm going to drop my left elbow in, palm my left hand to the ceiling so the hand can clear my head as I hook my left foot on. One, two, three. From here, I'm going to spin to my right. This is option number one. I'm going to spin to my right. Five, change hands, six, seven. That in itself will give you a real nice sequence to practice for a bit before you try the little piece of choreography we have. But that'll get you set up for another one, two, three. So again, for that part, let me change the angle on that. We're rocking forward towards the lady, turning on the heel. One, two, three, bringing the lady inside. Five, six, catching the shoulder, seven. Lowering the left elbow, getting the hand up so we can lead the lady past our left side as we hook and move over. One, two, three. You're gonna back spin, which means to pick your right foot up and spin backwards. Five, six, seven. From here, you're going to break towards the lady. One, two, three. You can do a drape or just simply do any kind of outside roll turn with the right hand hold. Okay, that's just an idea for that first one there. Now let's just go ahead and do the footwork that we had set up for the routine. Same concept to start, I'd roll the heel, one, two, three, I'd still turn the lady the same way, five, six, catch the shoulder on seven. I'm still gonna do the same hook, but here's your difference. You're gonna do your one, two, and as you step on three, you're gonna dip down and turn and come right back up turning the lady around. So that's very important, you have to drop and turn. That brings her hand down, it gets her shoulder rotating, and gets her turning. So once we've done that, we now dance an open break. One, two, we make a hand change on three. She's going to be doing an outside roll, but she needs to be passing your right side. So when you lead the open break, give her a slight pull towards your right shoulder. One, two, three. 
Again, now we hook the right foot as she goes by. Five, over the top of her head, six, and we get the other hand. Now you want to get the other hand beforehand if you can. So you have both hands crossed. On beat seven, you're going to sweep your left leg. Then you're going to move across yourself on the one, go under your left hand on the two, back up onto the three. So now you have yourself in hammerlock, the lady's on your left side. Now you're going to roll the lady to the inside, releasing the right hand hold for count five, over her head six, reaching around her waist and opening your base on seven. Try to open your base slightly wider than the lady so her feet are between your feet. And you've got a nice tight, tight hug on her and you're pulling her right up against your chest. Now from here you hold her in nice and tight and you go down into your knees, one, two, three. So it's a little figure eight action from the hip. One, two, three. Then your right hand is going to slip right up underneath the lady's arm, just a, just a little bit into the crease of the armpit, and you're going to pick up the shoulder just a little bit and then twirl her really small. So it's a small, light lead. Don't get a great big lead. Small lead over the head, and as she comes out, you pick her up with the break. One, two, three. This is a bit difficult to kind of demonstrate without a partner, so I'm going to bring Donna out here in just a second, and we're going to show you what that looks like. But she's actually got to come out and show you the ladies' part to all the movement as far as where your feet go first, ladies, and then we'll do that for you. Stick around. Okay, ladies, now for your part. I'm going to start on this track first, and I'll switch in a second here. We're going to do our normal basic first, back and forward. You're going to do an inside roll, turning to your left. He's going to continue your rotation around the corner. So you go right around the man. As you step through here, we're going to do choreography. He's going to take his hand and loop it down towards his center, causing you to continue to rotate right around the corner into closed position right there. Then you're going to go and do your next break movement, and you're going to go towards your right this time. Turning, turning, landing on your left foot. You'll feel him take both hands here. He over rotates, and you flare at the same time he does. You'll go around behind the gentleman, and then he'll lead you for the inside roll one more time, and you over rotate this one to wrap right into him. So I feel Michael will be right here. Then he's going to lead a right, a left, and a right rocking motion. He puts his hand right here in your shoulder blade, and you're going to take your head and take it over the corner down towards the floor. As you go down, he's raising your arm up, which gives you kind of this helicopter movement, down, back up, and as you come up, you're going to want to look for the wall towards your left shoulder, come around and face the gentleman, and then you're ready to do your rocking step. We'll do that again this time with counts from the other side. And here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three. Okay, now we'll get Michael out here and show you all that together and where all the connection points come in that'll help you get through this. Welcome back, here we go. We're gonna take you now through the details of the step. We're starting off with our basic movement and you're gonna roll that heel, guys. Remember to turn away, so that's one, two, three. As I bring my partner across me, I'm gonna start an inside roll and I'm gonna catch the shoulder again. Five, six, seven. Just at the back of the shoulder blade. Now I wanna keep her moving, so I'm gonna hook my foot around and pull the hand back the other way a little bit. One, two. Now on beat three, as she goes to take the next step, I'm gonna step through with my left and drop strong into the ground. Take the hand down your shoulder, rotate, bring it right back up and over her head and out into the open position again. That gets the lady's initial movement started and gets that spin moving. Without it, you'll feel there's a bit of a struggle for the turn.